external incentives and motivation or internal. When Wynton Marsalis was first thinking about pursuing a career in music, his father warned him. He said, don't do it unless you truly love it. Don't sit around waiting for publicity, money, people saying you're great, he told him, because that might never happen. Things obviously worked out well for Wynton Marsalis, but he remembers his father's message well, and he passes it along to his own students in the jazz program at Juilliard, where he teaches. My first thing I have my students do is write a mission statement. And that mission statement has three sentences. What do I want to do? How do I achieve it? And why am I doing it? And based on that mission statement, I teach them. And I have my fundamental teaching to them is I want you to rise above the cycle of punishment and reward. I'm not going to reward you. I'm not going to punish you. This is information. And you can do what you want with this information. So you always actualizing. And I always tell them, if, if you want to learn something, I can't stop you. If you don't want to learn it, I cannot teach you. What Ellis Marsalis taught Winton and what Winton teaches his students is supported by the academic research on creativity and children. A few decades ago, the Stanford psychologist Mark Lepper ran an experiment with nursery school students in which he first watched them doing various activities, one of which was drawing with markers. Teresa Amabile, who studied under Lepper when she was getting her PhD, tells a story. He then took all of the children, if they had shown any real interest in these markers, he put them into his experiment and had them go into a separate room, and they were randomly assigned uh, to one of a couple of conditions. Uh, the experimental condition was one where the children uh, sat down and the experimenter said, hi, I've got some magic markers and some paper here for you. Um, I wonder, would you be willing to make a drawing for me with these uh, materials in order to get this good player award? And the experimenter then held up this little award certificate with a big shiny gold star on it and a place to write in the child's name. And so that was the expected reward condition. The kids in this group, as promised, got the certificate for making a drawing. A second group of kids were invited to make a drawing with no mention of a reward and got the certificate as a surprise afterwards. This was called the unexpected reward condition. And a third group of kids, a control group, made drawings but were neither promised a reward nor surprised with one. The results were amazing. They were very strong. The kids who were in the control condition, who were in the unexpected reward condition, were just as interested in playing with those markers and drawing pictures in their free play time as they had been before they went into the experimental room. The kids who were in the promised reward condition, the contracted for reward condition, were significantly less interested in playing with those markers. So this showed very clearly, and there were many subsequent experiments showing that intrinsic motivation, intrinsic interest in children and in adults can be undermined by the expectation of reward.